Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss a program which is to check whether a number is palindrome or not. So the objective of the program is written here. Uh, we have to check a number for its palindrome nature. So palindrome numbers are those numbers which are equal when we reverse uh, that number. So for example, 121. So the 121's reverse is 121. That's why it is known as palindrome. If I uh, pick 123, it is not palindrome because its reverse is not equal to 123. So uh, I have included uh, a header file uh, which is stdr.s for printf and scanf. Then I have used main function and inside main function there are various instructions available in which first is variable declaration then I have used printf statement which will display enter a number message on console. After, after that I have used scanf which will read a number from user and that number will be stored inside n variable. Then I have used a temporary variable which is receiving the value of n. So uh, why I have used this temporary number, uh, sorry temporary variable because when this while loop will, uh, will be terminating after the uh, completion of execution, this n variable will become 0 and I have to use the original number uh, to compare the output of the reverse. So if I use uh, n uh, in this if condition, so it will become always 0. So that's why I have temporarily copied the original value of n into t. Now if uh, after execution of this while loop n becomes 0 then also we have the copy of n into t. So uh, after the uh, completion of while loop, if I want to use the value n, then I can use uh, t instead of n. Now this while loop is used to uh, uh, calculate reverse of a particular number which is stored inside n. So uh, for uh, understanding of this process, you can watch my video which will uh, show you how can we uh, calculate reverse of a number? So uh, we can say that if number is 123, so after uh, execution of this loop, S will contain 321 as a reverse of 123. So now I am checking this if condition. So S is con containing 321, which is the reverse of 123, and T is containing the original number, which is 123. So if I compare both the variables, so this condition will be false. So else will be executed and it will print on console number is not palindrome. Now suppose n is 121. So if uh, this while loop will be executed, so it will uh, uh, calculate the reverse of 121 and that reverse will be stored inside s and reverse is 121. So if I check this if condition now, so S is 121 and T will be 121. So uh, this time this if condition is true. So this printf will print number is palindrome on console. So for checking uh, of a number that whether it is palindrome or not, we can uh, add the logic of uh, uh, reversing a number in this program. So now I am executing this code. So first of all I am compiling, then I am running this program. So it is asking a number, suppose I have entered 121. So it is showing number is palindrome because reverse of 121 is 121. Again I am executing this code and this time I entered 123. So it is showing number is not palindrome because reverse of 123 is 321 which is not equal to 123. So you can also implement this code in your laptop or desktop so that you can understand the concept behind it. You can also note down my details, my phone number, email ID, website. Now this is important, you can download my Android app that is Stack Image. Here you will be able to find out the notes of C, C++, Java, web technology, etc. You can also download these uh, notes from tutorials.techimage.in. You can read these books uh, uh, which are related to programming languages. You can watch uh, other videos 
by following this link of my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for watching.